A local fire department has revamped its travel policies. Yeah, this comes after a CBS News Colorado investigation showing taxpayers were footing the bill for some unusual expenses. Your investigator Brian Moss broke this story, steps in now with this follow up. And Brian, they originally said they didn't think they were doing anything wrong. Karen, the South Adams County Fire Department didn't feel like their spending was at all out of line. They defended this initially, but they've had a change of heart following our investigation. That change should save taxpayers a lot of money. How does it benefit the public to pay for your wives, to go to these conventions and pay for expenses? How does that benefit the public? That was one question we had for the South Adams County Fire Chief following our investigation. An investigation that showed the department was repeatedly allowing top department chiefs and board members to take their wives to conferences, with the public paying a lot of expenses for spouses. We also found at those same conferences, the same chiefs arriving days before functions ever began and leaving days after the conferences ended. I don't think we're doing anything wrong. But not everyone agreed. It felt a little bit more like a vacation than a working trip. This former South Adams firefighter went on one of those Florida conferences and said the department's spending was over the top. I remember seeing a bill for a steakhouse that was around $700, um, and it was you could buy whatever food you wanted, you could buy whatever alcohol you wanted. But this month, the department came out with these new travel and expense policies, doing away with the spending that we exposed. Expenses for spouses, personal guests, or families are not reimbursable according to the new policy. Staying beyond the time required to attend the function shall now be paid for by the individual employee, reads the new policy. Employees will be given flat per diem rates, no more using department credit cards on trips. Spending for alcohol will not be reimbursed. Overall, much tighter controls over spending. That'll probably save the public some money. It could. Just because it's been going on for a while doesn't make it okay. It needs to change. And now it has changed. The department said these changes are in the interest of commitment to transparency and efficient operations. So that's where we end up with this uh, reporting. We appreciate you exposing this, Brian. Thank you.